So, you came. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. Oh, yes. Because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. Well, there's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. How about this? Now, let us depart. Excuse me, is, uh... Whoa! Uh, hey guys. It looks like we've all had the same idea. Are you here to speak with him as well? Uh, kinda. So, he's not here? He left around noon. Said he was meeting up with Akechi. Sojiro said if we need to talk about stuff, we can use this place for a while. Cool. You know... He asked me the other day... Something along the lines of whether or not I'm okay with how things are. At first I didn't know what he was talking about, but as he kept going... His words started making my chest feel all... tight. I know what you mean. Never since then, it's like... Like something isn't right in my heart anymore. I have no complaints about my current life. On the contrary, in fact. I am truly happy with it. So, in that case... What is this inkling of a feeling I have deep in my soul? so bad at figuring out this sort of stuff. Hey, do you think maybe we're all running away from something super important? I've been kind of wondering for a while now. Maybe the reason his words hurt so much is because he's right. But I was too scared to admit that for some reason. That's why I pretended I didn't understand what he meant. When I was speaking with him, I felt like I caught a glimpse of this mysterious sight. Something that shouldn't have happened, but still, I felt like I shouldn't turn away from it. Same here. And myself as well. It seems that we really have lost sight of something precious to us after all. That might be. scared to remember what it is. If I remember that, I feel like my life as I know it is gonna end. Oh, Futaba. But even still, I don't want to feel this way anymore either. Me too. I guess that's it, huh? He was trying to tell us all something important and I bet he's probably still working on it somewhere. Ain't no way I'm gonna bail on him just so I can keep running from... whatever it is. When I had that strange experience you all mentioned, I saw him and the rest of us there together. I want to believe the connection we share here is a genuine one. Well, I know if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose our connection with him. Don't ask how I know. It just feels like the truth to me. I admit I am happy right now, but I just can't accept the situation as it is. I'm done with trying to escape my problems. Huh?
Well... If I must. All right. Sim. Feel your true form. They let their guard down. Come, all will be revealed. You wiped them out. <laughs> we didn't even break a sweat. All right, a good battle. Focus. It's a treasure chest. I don't see any trap. It's somewhere. Show me your true form! We've got them surrounded! You wiped them out? Okay. It's somewhere. <laughs> we had room to spare. Looks like there's a safe room around here. The cognitive effects are weakening. It's a safe room. Shall we take a rest? Now, let us depart. I... Hey! Thank you for coming. She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. 
You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. This reality is the one that they all wished for. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. Please, I want you to understand, for their sake, as well as yours. Time. <sighs> For the sake of Yoshizawa-san and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No. You're not serious, right? Please. I'm begging you, Senpai. Please let me live as Kasumi. But why? This pain is too much! Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever, and... and it's all my... all Samiri's fault! I can't live that kind of life! Please, don't try to stop me! If you do, then I'll... How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. Please, don't make me do this. I can't stop this! I refuse to live as Kasumi's killer! Please don't do this to me! Come! Looks like you lost. 
Why? Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... Why don't you understand? Please. I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. Mm. I can give you strength, so you don't have to suffer. Doctor... Tell me, if you want your pain to end, and desire to live as Kasumi, I'll actualize it! Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, escape from the nightmare! No, I... I can't! I don't want to go back to my life in Cinders ever again! What the hell? This so-called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this quick. I refuse to go back! I'm happy here. This is where I belong! <laughs> I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. It's gone totally berserk. We need to stop her persona. I'll take that! It ate the smaller one? What a pain. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. Come! There. Fear my power. That should do. Her refusal to accept the truth. We can't afford to waste time on this shit. Here it comes. I don't think so. I told you not to rush in by yourself like that. At least it seemed to work out in our favor. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that... Akechi-kun and Dr. Maruki? Oh, she's always trapped by... Why is her persona doing this? It's not, it's never. What in the world is going on here? 
so much of this shit makes no sense. But we'll cover it later. We've got to stop her first. Right, Joker? All right, let's get in formation. Okay, guys, leave the navigation to me. Let's push it back. Unbelievable. Why did they come here? Let's go! Some other way. Don't ask I'm ready, but the opponent is strong. Don't do anything reckless. I'm river in a You've all... I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... And how? It's impossible. You're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? <sighs> That's right. More importantly, why are... Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? He's ruling this palace, is what he's doing. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maruki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Our joy? That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wish for anything like that. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again. We can get back to fighting if that's what you really want, but I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. choice but a physical altercation. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. What I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading! I want to pursue him, but 
I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's gotta rest anyway. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Something to do with Dr. Maruki, anyway. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? So, Dr. Maruki... He altered our reality... to make our dreams come true? This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? That's right! A catchy! There's no reason to be defensive. Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. So you're not here to fight us? I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. What about the rest of you? Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here. Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? <sighs> I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey! Hey! Jeez. Yoshizawa, are you alright? I... Oh, yes. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. N no, no, you don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh yeah, third semester's starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. Yo, welcome back. Hmm? I didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> hey, Sojiro? Is Mom? Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. Odd coincidence, huh? <gasps> well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. I see. 
Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. Mom really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way, too, now. tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. What was that? Wait, you're... What the? I'm... Oh yeah, that's right! Why were you human, Mona? Yeah! You're supposed to be a cat! I am not a... Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess I am a cat. How did we never realize? You know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with a Kachikun? We need to find them! Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down... I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. But being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. Yep, no worries. I'm fine. What? School's tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep. Must 